All right, uh, so what we have here is the components to do a bow drill fire. And all of these components from start to finish that you see here in front of you are all made from pine. We have a pine hearth board or fire board as you may call it. We have our pine spindle and our tinder bundle that we're gonna be using for this. I have here in this uh, handkerchief so that the wind doesn't blow it away. It's important to protect your tinder bundle from the wind. So in the event that the wind picks up out here, I just fold this over and that'll keep it safe for the time being until I'm ready to actually use it. Uh, and then I'm gonna have my leaf here to catch my coal. So right now I have my pilot hole drilled in the hearth board and I'm gonna have to do a burn in to create the start of the hole and then I'll create my notch in the hearth board and from there we'll try to get a coal. So right now I'll get this ready and start to do a burn in and for my socket I just have this uh, fire steel here made by Essie. The reason I like to use this instead of natural material is just because this won't wear out. Whereas if I were to use a piece of pine and use that as my socket, uh, it's gonna burn into that just as fast as it will the hearth board. And that creates more friction and it's just gonna make it harder in the long run. This being metal, it's gonna make it a lot smoother and less friction, creating more RPM so that I can get my fire a little bit easier. So. With that though, uh, the downside to this is it is metal, so it does heat up when you create the friction, which is why I'll be throwing on a glove to do this, so I don't burn a hole in my hand. So, without further delay, let's start. So when I put the spindle into the bow, I put it, the piece that I'm gonna be burning into the board, put that up, wrap it into the bow. Now that's secure, it's not too tight, and not too loose. And the thing is here, the key is you gotta spread your base out and get proper mechanics set up, otherwise this is gonna make it very hard. So, I'll get this in here. Try to just give that a little push and set that into the wood. It's looking pretty good. Now this spindle and hearth board has been used a number of times now so my spindle is getting rather short a little bit shorter than I'd like it but we'll try to make this work so right now I just want to get some rotations get this to set in and soon you'll start to see smoke and that tells me that I'm successfully burning into the board so I'm using nice full strokes moderate pressure and I can already feel it starting to kick into the board now. I'm getting a little bit of smoke. So I'll pick it up a bit. All right, now I'll stop. So now we have a successful burn in. Now that tells me where my divot's gonna be. All right, so what I'll do is, you can always try to save this. This is good stuff. You don't wanna waste that. All right, now from this point here, I need to carve my notch. So take out my trusty saw. And now I wanna go almost to the center of the hole, just a little bit shy. So I'd say about a third of the way in. And I really don't want my notch to be more than about a quarter inch wide. So then I just pop that notch out, check out my work, make sure it's where I want it. I'm going to take that in just a hair more. All right, that looks good. All right, set my saw aside. Now. Here comes the moment of truth. So I'm gonna set that there. This leaf is underneath to separate you from the ground. Granted, I'm doing this on pavement today just for demonstration purposes, but if you were in the woods and you're on dirt or leaves, what have you, it can be very wet and that'll absolutely ruin your chances of getting a coal. It'll suck all of the heat out of your coal. 
and you'll never have success. So you always want to have something dry underneath to catch a cold, whether it be a flat piece of wood, you may make a shingle, um, a dry leaf, anything like that will work. So very important. <clears throat> so carefully set up. Make sure your mechanics, body mechanics are correct, that you're comfortable. So I'm going to separate this out. Throw on my glove so I don't burn my hand. Now once we get the coal, you don't have to jump on it. You want to let that smolder for a little bit. And that's when I'll start to really prep my tinder bundle, make sure it's in a good bird's nest and ready to go before I add my coal to that. So now any final adjustments to the spindle. I want to make sure this has a nice fine point. And just freshen up the blunt end. I don't want that glazed over and shiny because that's not going to help you. So you kind of want that rounded like the end of a hot dog. Give you a good idea. And then the top that's going to be in your socket you want as pointed as possible so that there's less contact area which will translate to less friction make it easier for you to get more speed. So when our knife is not in use put that away. All right. So set that up in the bow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm just going to go not at a crazy speed it's going to be more about pressure at this point and you're going to build the dust up in the notch and that may be hard to see because my foot's going to be in the way but once the dust builds up in the notch that's when I'm going to start to really go for broke and pick up the speed so that I can hit ignition point and that's what will get me my ember so everything feels good got a nice wide base Okay. Pressure, nice long strokes, use the whole bow. You can already see smoke. So just build that dust in the leaf. Now basically I just go until you get tired. Once you get gassed out, stop, I think I may already have a coal. Yep, alright. So that was lucky. My spindle popped out now, you've got to be very careful taking your foot off. Otherwise you can dump the whole coal. But that smoldering, as you can see, it's continuing to smoke even after I've stopped. Now, from here, very gently, tap the coal loose from the board. And then all this dust on top, I'm going to tip and add that to my coal. Now, these things here can smolder up anywhere up to 20 minutes once you get it. So, there's no need to immediately jump right on it and throw it in your bundle. Relax, get your wits about you because this takes a lot out of you. I'm pretty winded right now. So I'll just give it a second, compose myself, get my breath back, let that smolder. Now I'll turn my attention to my bundle. So this is all from just pine. This is pine shavings, just feather sticks that I carved with a knife and just knock them off with a stick. You don't need to keep them on. This is just going to be my base so that I can put this all on it just to hold it together so it's structured a little bit better. So what I'm going to do now is start to form this into a bird's nest. Okay. And I'll take a lot of this fine dust. This is the stuff that's really going to catch the ember. So that's coming along nicely. So now at this point, pick it up and I'm just going to coax this into the bundle gently. All 
All right. Now this is the moment of truth. So now we have the ember in here in the wood. So now I'm just going to start to blow and as that ember spreads, hopefully it's going to catch these. And there you go. Very simple. Fire 10,000 BC.